Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. This might be part seven, but in case I'm wrong, uh, I'm just gonna say, hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Last time we left, or uh, we finished Pelver, no, that's not at all what we did. Uh, we left Rustboro City and we headed here to the Slateport. Nope, this is Doofer Town, yes. We went through Doofer Town to deliver a letter and uh, now we're here at Granite Cave to find Steven Stone, I believe. So here's Granite Cave. And uh, now, oh, hey, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, Steven, I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, but he ought to be all right by now. But for us hiking, for us hikers, helping out that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll, I'll pass this on to you. Great. So this is HMO5. This is a Flash. And, uh... Take that hidden move's Flash. To poke, teach that hidden move Flash to a Pokemon to use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of a cave. But to use it, you'll need the gym badge from the first Pokemon gym. Which we do not have. So Flash... When you use Flash, it illuminates dark areas like caves. Hopefully we won't need it, because I came a little prepared. Now... Off screen, I went to gather a couple things. So for this journey, I highly, 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 highly recommend uh, three things. One, I recommend you get some repels, because unless we want uh, to be mobbed by Pokemon, mobbed by Zubats all over again, uh, use a repel uh, for 100 stuff, Pokemon won't bother you. Number two, dose. I recommend we get an escape rope because if you do not grab this, you'll have to climb all the way back out of the cave. I don't think Steven gives you one when you find him, so you'll have to use an escape rope to it'll fast it'll basically just instantly travel you out from the cave. And number three, a map. Uh nothing's gonna show up on the screen, but I have pulled up right here a map of Granite Cave. Well, it's more of a rough map because I don't know how it is ordered. So we're just going to have to wing it. So if I stutter, if I stop, uh, just be... Uh, there, there should be an item up here, I believe. Uh, oh, shit, I forgot Pokemon actually spawn up here on the upper level. This is Makuhita. He's level 7. Uh, we're just not going to mess with them right now. I mean... There, we'll be coming back here a little bit later. I say a little bit later, but like, we'll actually just be stopping by here after we find Steven to get a certain something. Um, so, I kind of forgot Pokemon spawned up here. Or I guess they came up here. So, we will use our repel and, uh... Oh! Escape rope's right here! Well, I guess, uh, yeah. You can just grab one, so that is fine. So, when we come in here... Oh, it's dark! Oh, dark and spooky! Now, I have... I really don't remember... Um... Where... Sorry about that! I'm back! I actually hit stop recording and stop pause, my bad. Alright, so... Now, would you believe that I don't really remember this area very well, so... I believe that if we go down here, there's actually an item. Oh, hello. Hi, item. Pokeball. Well, I, uh, thank you. And then head out this way. How I might just throw up a map on the screen while I'm at it. Alright, now that we're here, we're basically just gonna take a left, basically most of the way over. Oh, effect wore off. So, yeah, we gotta repel every single time. Kinda hug the top of the map. Yep. And then, this is basically a ledge, so just hold basically forward and up. There's actually almost one thing we wanna get here while we're... One thing we wanna get while we're here. And, uh... It's a Everstone! Yay! So, yeah, it's basically just gonna be on the right. Here you go. And this should just be directly to the left. And then, oh, we're almost there, guys. 
Do 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 do. Steven. Perfect. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. Frost handed over the letter. I know I was off, but uh, fuck it. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that? I need to thank you. Let me see, I'll give you this TM. It can take my favorite move, Steel Wing. Steel Wing? Well, I'll take it, I guess. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I think since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in the in our Pokenavs. Dot dot dot. Register Steven in the Pokenav. Sweet. Yeah, hurry along. <laughs> All out to the, deliver the letter. Well, I guess since I guess there's no reception in this cave. Um, I honestly don't remember if there's any interesting uh, any interesting Pokemon in Granite Cave right now, at least the bottom area. So we delivered a letter, so now we can leave. But there's one thing here that I want to show you. So I'll probably cut to when. Sorry, I just was really yawning. I was really yawning. I was real. I was yawning really badly. So I guess I'll just cut to whenever. I find it. Hey, here you are. Ooh, a level 11. It's pretty high for the encounter table here. So this is what we need, an Aeron. I hear some people will call it Oron, but I believe it's pronounced Aeron. So what is this? This is a steel rock type. So it'd be a great addition to our team, Steel Rock type. Steel is a very, very, um, shall we say, I don't know if I can say it's a versatile type, but uh, uh it's a very useful. Steel, it's very hardy and it is very defensive. It resists a lot of types. Now you see how it's a rock type, so it should uh, take an extra dan or should take a super effect from absorb. Well, I believe Steel type resists grass. So in this case, you know, I only do deal neutral type. So it's going to resist a lot of different typings. Um, we will see, actually, let's try, I don't know, fuck it, Premier Ball. Premier Ball is only as good as a Pokeball, but, yeah, if we catch it, I'll be nice. Ooh, one, two, three, nice. Premier Ball, Premier Ball looks fancy. Looks like Aaron wanted to be in a Premier Ball. Hey! Aaron, the Iron Armor Pokemon, with a height of 1 foot and 4 inches, with a weight of 132 pounds. That is a dense motherfucker. Actually, I just learned this recently. I believe that is the same weight as Moltres. Hmm. Moltres is a legendary from Generation 1, a Firebird Pokemon. A Pokemon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor is salvaged as metal for making iron productions. Products. Ooh. What will we name it? Um, so... I guess, uh... This is... I mean, I kind of feel bad because this is what I always name it, but, uh... Halberd. Because you know it's all steely and it's a it's a weapon. So uh, yeah. Let's take a look at Halberd real quick. Another male. Is my whole team male? Huh. Interesting. Ooh, a bold nature. If I remember right, bold increases defense while lowering special attack, I believe. Rockhead, it prevents recoil damage. Um, that's actually really good. I think it could also get sturdy, but in this generation, sturdy is not good. Sturdy would prevent one hit KO move like Guillotine or Sheer Cold from working, but uh. Rockhead prevents recoil damage. That's actually really good. Like if I get takedown or something. 
Although I don't know if he learns any good um, recoil moves. He's head smashed in this generation. I don't remember. I don't think I still have the rappel on, so I was su surprised it's still working. Um, we're at 10 minutes already. Well, actually, this is... It's not to lie, we're probably at 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Um, I hate to say it, but I might as well, I might cut the video here because, uh, next video is probably going to take on the gym, but if you look at our, our levels, I don't think we're ready for the gym right now. Plus, um, I might want to level up orange a bit. I probably won't because the next gym is a fighting type. So, Taihom is going to be our savior, but yeah. <laughs> so let's just say... So the next time, we will take on the fighting type gym leader, Brawly. And, uh, that may or may not go <laughs> well. I always, I always do terrible at Brawly. I don't know why. He's the second gym leader. He's not that hard, but for me, I always have a hard time. Because you will see you next time. So, uh, take care, everyone. See you next time.